What's up everybody out there? Spidey of the Aranya boys coming to you from the Aranya loft and today I'm going to be talking about some pears that I have sent their youngsters to one loft races this year. Um, some that my dad picked out, some that I picked out. And I'm also going to show a couple of other pears that I really feel like I need to get their babies to one loft races. So, just kick back, relax, and let's look at some pigeons. So, we're going to start with the Sun City Wolverine, Stud City. Now, this is his latest round. I just banded these guys today. I stole his second round. He raised his third round and that's his fourth round. Now, there's two of these on the race team. Uh, one of them we sent to Texas for the one off race. One of them we sent to Oregon for the one off race. And one of them I sent to Pennsylvania for a one loft race. So three of their babies are in one loft races, two on the race team. The sixth one is running around here somewhere. And then this is number seven and number eight. And then they'll be done after these because these last two are just to look at, maybe send to a late hatch. Uh, one loft race, but I have a partner. Me and him, I got a little Spidey syndicate going on, and uh, his, me and him are halves on these babies. So that's awesome. So we got them in three different states. Um, last year, uh, he bred uh, Pathfinder, the undefeated. I sent her on three races. That's all I sent her on. And she won all three of them. Um, pretty impressive. That's why I call her Pathfinder because uh, the every race she kind of brought like pigeons with her from the loft, of course. But yeah, she was pretty impressive. So that's just the first pair. Now we're going to to the other pair that I want to send. Them. Okay, so here we got the young peep. Uh, this is actually a peep. Let me adjust myself. Uh, this is a young peep uh, out of Pathfinder the Undefeated, which is the daughter of Stud City, Sun City Wolverine. Um, now, the daddy is the Fantu and the phantom uh every year he just throws he throws winners his kids throw winners it's kind of crazy he's like one of the best cocks in the world without a doubt and we never crossed him to sun city so we put him on a three-time winner uh and i would really like to i got about another i'd say about another 10 12 days and this bird will be ready to send off so I definitely want to send this 374 to one 374. I definitely want to send this to a one loft race because this is Sun City Phantom. Uh, two of our best flying families. So yeah, I'm loving it. Loving it. Go find your sister now. Okay, he's still got a lot of pee pee fuzz on top. A lot of pee pee fuzz. He's yeah, still gonna need about a week or two. 373. The nest mate, man, these things are nice. They're young, but boy, they're fantastic in the hands. Uh, yeah. Phantom Sun City Wolverine. Uh, yeah, definitely. As soon as this is ready, I definitely want to send it somewhere because these two families have just been fantastic for us. And got to try and get these out, man. She's cute. All oh, that fuzz. Oh, you even got a little tick in your eye. 
Ooh, she gonna be a looker. Okay, here is a one that I vetoed. Oh, isn't she beautiful? This is a full sister to Red October and uh, Red Rivera. Uh, I was going to send this to Oregon. That's why we only sent two to Oregon because I said no. Do you guys blame me? I had to keep her. I already know they fly. I already know they fly. I just, you know, her daddy's getting a little older and look at this sweet, sweet, sweet baby. Oh, she's awesome. So I couldn't send her. Uh, do you blame me? I mean, yeah, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. <laughs> yeah, no way. She ain't going nowhere except for maybe to that perch. <laughs> oh, she is a beautiful pigeon. No one love for you, baby. You're gonna breed one love racer racers. Yeah, that, that's the ticket. There's Mr. Pitbull's next baby. See, I could even send him somewhere. What's up? What's up? Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. P Little Pitbull. You're a blue boy this time. There was two of them, but like whenever they were real small, one of them got knocked out of the nest. I guess it was the blue check. Does this one turn out to be a blue boy? He a mean. He got a little pit bull in him. Damn, son. You want to go to a one loft race in a couple weeks? I don't know. I, I don't know what that means, though. <laughs> he turned out nice, though. All right, he's not really the one that... I'm in here for even though he is a good option. The one that I'm in here for is this little dude. This little. Ooh, you're just as nasty as the pit bull. Ooh, baby. Yeah, show me that fire. Okay, now this little guy is a punk. His parents are out in the solo cages, but I want more babies out of them. And only one of their eggs was fertile, so I had this pair pump them. So the, this is. <coughs> this is. Uh, out of our double granddaughter of a Picasso, the one from uh, Jonas Sings. Come on out, buddy. I know. Oh, you're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. And the cockbird is um, the Greek connection, um, young Picasso, or something like that. Oh, Picasso 304 um, that we got from. Shining door loft. Oh man, isn't he pretty? He's probably gonna be need about two or three weeks, but man, I'd like to send him somewhere. Cause like I said, this is the Picasso 304 from the Greek connection that we got from Shannon Dola onto our double granddaughter of Picasso. And he's a pretty guy. He's feisty too. I like that. I like it whenever you got some fight in you. I like it when you got some fight in you. I like it when you got some fight in you. Like you, you. Oh, hello. So there you go, yeah. Picasso, Picasso, Picasso. I like it. Beautiful, beautiful baby. Okay, and then we have this lady sitting on two more baby. Ow! All right, so this hen is mated onto Silver Spidey, the Greipel, but this hen is a combine winner and she's bred a combine winner um so this is performance straight performance so we sent two of these to new york and uh yeah i'm looking for these to be awesome you're awesome baby oh you're a winner you're a winner you slap like a winner yeah baby mm, isn't she awesome i love this hat Oof. And now I got two more babies. Might send them to a late hatch thing. I'm not really sure. I might actually end up keeping them. I'm not not sure, but these are awesome. One more for the road. Ah, oh, you pecked me. I wanted some wing, damn it. Oh, and this is perfect because the power couple are in their box together. Oh. Matter of fact, this is the first time you've never met either one of these pigeons, but these are fantastic. Um, what you're looking at in the box there is I keep, haven't talked about it much. I talk about the double grandson of the Phantom all the time, but I forgot to 
talk about the bad boy. He is a grandson of the Phantom. And his bun sitting there is a granddaughter of Diablo. And if anybody knows Diablo, Diablo is the Leonardo Tinkerbell. We love the Ari Dykstra. Of course, Phantom is a half brother of Tinkerbell. Um, I love the bloodline. And uh, these came out so pretty. And Dad said, send them anyway. So Dad sent one to. Where did he send it? Whoops. Brain fart. Either way. Both the first rounds were sent out. Um, and the second round is on the race team. And right now they're kind of sitting on round tres. So this is a power couple. Or maybe they're not. No, I'm waiting for round three. You guys didn't like, what are you guys doing? Make some eggs. I need round three. I only got four babies out of you so far. I want at least six. Because, uh, yeah, I already sent two of your babies out. They were pretty. Oh, they were so pretty. Oh, but yeah, Phantom Diablo. Oh, these are going to be fire. The ones on the race team are... Oh, I love them. It's hard to send out, send birds. Look at him. Look at him. He's fun. Fantastic. I wish I could do it. I'll do a better job with the Yeah, there we go. Look at him. Grandson of the Fanto. And then she's a granddaughter of Diablo. Man, love this couple. Love their babies even more. I'm definitely expecting big things out of these two. Um, he actually threw a UPC money winner in 2020. 2021 and 2022 uh he threw a combine winner in 2020 um he what, what did he do he did something in 2022 but i can't remember what his daughter did but she she had she has combine diplomas but i can't remember what places they were for and 2023 we didn't race any of his babies because i was uh, line breeding them and i stalked all three of his children so <laughs> i got three babies out of them i didn't race any of them i already know they race well he's a grandson of the phantom i'm expecting big things man this is one of my power couples without a doubt i love this freaking pair i love you all right here we got the gold nuggets that mona lisa um sent only one of these out because um first round uh this pair only had one baby so um where, i'm not sure where we sent it we sent it too. i should have wrote all this down but just showing you some of the pairs that uh, we sent babies out of and this i like this little guy look, look at you stripes look at you got a little stripe the gold nugget in your buddy gold nugget in your buddy i like you you're cute you're cute you don't like being messed with i like that stripe i call you stripe you're not a gremlin are you you're not a gremlin oh he's taking offense he does not like being called a gremlin all right i'm backing off Woo it brings us up to the triple gladiator which i sent one of these babies out but whoo i love this pair i love this pair look at it him look at you you're so good looking you're so good looking as yes, you are triple gladiator look at your baby oh second round look at oh look at that she is a dime man this pair was meant to be she's lime bread araña She's a daughter out of 45628 and 45609. And look at these laced babies. Look at these, look at these, man. Oh, where do you want to go? What state do you want to fly in? Go ahead. I'll, I'll wait. You can tell me. What state do you want to fly in, little chica? Oh, my gosh. This pair. Woo. Love them. Gladiator Aranya. Well, actually, Garnix Aranya, if you want to get technical. Look, there's Kittle Me This. That's the daddy of Two-Face. 
So that would be kiddo me. This is half brother. And he's like a throwback. Look at him. He's all whited out. And you know, he's got like white up his wing, white flights. Man, you're so pretty. I'm not sending you anywhere except for my stock law. You can, you can hang out with your brother Two-Face. His babies are beautiful. Two-Face's babies are beautiful. I have to show them too. Oh, isn't that awesome? Kiddo me this. Kiddo me this is new kid. That's, that's Two-Face's half brother. That's fantastic. Okay, now the two babies that I have that I want to send out. Are you hanging out with daddy? Yes, you are. Look at him. Smokey. Smoky. Okay, so this guy. Oh, and they got eggs. Yes, let's freaking go. I'm definitely not throwing you away. Whoa, I'm so happy. Anyway, whew, all right, let me con compose yourself, sir. Okay, I will. All right, all right. These two babies, of course, are out of this guy. So this is a son out of our double grandson of the fun too. Of course, if you watch my videos, you know who this dude is. Bred two babies out of him last year. Both of them won a race. The, his one daughter won the 250. His other daughter was equal first on the 300. And then these, these are his second round because he got a late start. Believe it or not, that's his third round right there. This pair got off to a late start. And his first babies are on the race team because he got off to such a late start. Whenever everybody was pretty much finishing their second round, he was on his first. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't really care. Because now I got two more babies uh, out of the same pair as last year. They're fantastic looking. And I am definitely looking to send them um, somewhere. Where do you want to go, bud? Whoa! Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. I'll get out of your way now. Ooh, sit on them eggs tight, boy. I want them. Now we'll just move to his brother. Uh, 1485, the white flighter. Now, this is his third round. And they should be laying their fourth round after these start. I just, I just... I just banded these. 9224. Uh, the first round, um, one went to the Wall Bash Classic. Um, I think, I'm not sure where the second one went. I know he sent the other one somewhere. The one went to Illinois. And uh, I don't know where the other one went. And then the uh, second two are on the, the race team. And then this is the third round. Believe it or not, he didn't get off to a great start. He got off to a lot better start than his brother, but... 99! Because uh, the round that we have, their second round, band numbers were at the end of the 900s. It was 998 and 999. So then the third round, 399. So that's awesome. So, yep, Illinois and I want to say Florida. The other one went to Florida. I can't remember. I, I should have had my list for all this. But this is the, the parents of Bronx Bomber. Um, Bronx Bomber was second champion Youngbird, right behind Reliable Rhonda. So, uh, so that's why we definitely want to send these out because they perform. Uh, not only do they give you a chance to win that 300, 350, which the Bronx Bomber was first on the 300 to kind of clinch that second championship bird. The only problem is, is Reliable Rondo was in that group with him and she got the equal first two. Uh, so he couldn't overtake her. Um, but I went, I put the pair together. So let's go check them out. Okay, there Reliable Ronda is champion young bird of 20. Oh, bird knocked the dang tripod. Watch where you're going, bro. So now this 
she's actually on her fourth round. Yup, she's on her fourth round. Her third round is actually in the loft because I haven't weaned them yet. They just jumped down. Matter of fact, that's one of them right there, I guarantee you. Oh, that might be both of them actually. Yep, that's both of them right there. Not, not that, that's the queen out. The one with the white in his head, that's the queen out. But that's out of Reliable Ronda and Bronx Bomber. So I already have uh, two for stock, two on the team, and I, I haven't sent any of them out yet. But I definitely want to test them. So I definitely, definitely want to send them. These are queen elves. <laughs> See the one with those flat on there? I love that little dude. He's a queen elf. These could be sent somewhere too, actually. Because they actually perform pretty well too. But that's the first champion young bird in the combine. Second champion young bird in the combine made it together. They come they come out light blue like that. Almost like a powder blue. That's just they've all they all look the same like that. It's crazy. Just good stuff. Good stuff. Where you wanna go? Yeah, they never answer, man. They never answer. And last off the time machine room. I'm telling you right now, oof, these are my picks. Yeah. 39.48 on the 405. That's that's my picks right there, boys. Look at them little I wanna send these guys somewhere so bad. Um so 39.48 is a Diablo Picasso cock. And 405 is a daughter out of our time machine. She's like one of the number one daughters. And I love the first two rounds. They're fantastic. These that that Diablo blood has blown my mind. My dad's probably sick of hearing about Diablo because I've been talking about Diablo nonstop. Because I'm almost at this point. I really just want to con concentrate on Airy Dystra blood because of the Diablo, the Phantom, you know, the Picasso. The Picasso comes from Sprinkles, which is the age. Of, man, I just, I just love that family. And then, and then you take it and you cross it onto my time machine family. Oh, yeah, I want to send these somewhere. <laughs> I already got a couple on the race team. I love them. You're an awesome looking little dude. Come here, give me five, man. What's up? How you doing, buddy? Oh, you're tame. Nice. I like you, bro. I think you're going to do big things. <laughs> and then in here, here's two faces, babies. Come here, babies. Don't be afraid. We got a blue bar. Oh, with a little patch on his head. A little bit of white, just like his brother. His brother got white on the wings too. The one that I just showed earlier in the video. Hey, cutie! <laughs> I got a two-tone beak like your daddy. But your two faces color right here. Yeah, come here, buddy. Oh, you got white flights. Oh, he does. He wants to go back in. He's like, Camera shy, I'm camera shy. I don't want to hurt your wing, buddy. See, he got little ticks and everything, but yeah. Two faces, babies. And unfortunately, these are his first babies. Um, I had him on a shilling's head. They didn't really like each other. And I didn't have time to bring him in and crate made him, so I just kind of left him go. And then I was like, oh, I gotta get babies out of uh, toothpaste. So I put them on a really good head. Now, I uh, don't know if I can get them on the race team. So I'll either keep them or send them out. I don't know, but they're awesome, man. So cool. Last pair and I'll wrap this up, but I gotta, these things turned out so fantastic. Um, this is one of the Time Machine Sharky Cocks. Um, actually 122's brother, 1720, and, uh, of course he threw a race winner last year, uh, first year breeding him, um, 
so did his other brother. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the time machine sharkies are just automatic, <laughs> pretty much at this point. And this is their third round. And uh, I'll tell you what, I definitely want to send these somewhere. It's gonna be a white fly in there. Oh, you're so cute. These things are dynamite, man. The first two rounds were, woo, lights out. Now, uh, the first two rounds, like uh, the second round was sold, but, and the first round's actually on the race team. But these, I don't, I'm thinking, I, I wanna send these somewhere. Whew. So good looking. Where do you think I should go, guys? What's up? This is my good side. This is my good side. You like me. You like me. <laughs> these are good. I love these pigeons. So, yeah. Got a lot of birds sent out. Still got a bunch of birds that I want to send out. Busy, busy, busy. Work, pigeons. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy, but I love it. Hope everybody out there is having great success with your youngsters and your breeding and your decision making to send to your one love races, man. <laughs> it's fun and it's going to be an exciting summer, man. So go out there, do something good for someone and the good will come back to you. Whew. Lots of beautiful babies. Spice out.